In this video we're going to look at units of memory and we should know already that everything that goes into a computer has to be converted to binary code which we represent with zeros or ones. Now the smallest of those is just one zero or one which we call the bit. So we use a zero or one to represent a bit and likewise we should also already know that eight bits equals one byte. So we get one byte um, eight bits. Um, so the byte is, is the unit of memory that we use in computing and you're probably more familiar with hearing, hearing terms like uh, kilobyte, megabyte, uh, gigabyte, terabyte and so on and there are more and they, they will go on and I bet you when you're old and wrinkly like me you will have even further names down there as memory uh, the need for memory on computers gets greater and greater. Now kilo literally means 1000 so we have a kilometer, a kilogram, it means a thousand meters, a thousand grams and a kilobyte strictly means 1000 bytes but does it? Now this has been a cause of great big arguments in the computer world for a long time because actually, when we're using um, binary code uh, and counting in base 2, we go up in powers. So we've already seen in the past that we go from 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, uh, 120, uh, 8, 256, and then the magic number 10, 24. Now in computing terms, because we didn't have sort of a descriptor for 1024, we applied the term kilo. But some people are sticklers and have always used kilo to mean 1000. So computer programmers have had to decide which one do they use. Do they use 1024 or do they use 1000? And some people use 1000 and some use 1024. But that's brought us trouble and I'll show you why. Now this is because a megabyte is 1000 kilobytes or is it 1024 kilobytes and a gigabyte is 1000 megabytes or is it 1024 megabytes well this is where it, it it can all start going wrong because that can lead to big differences in memory so for example let's do um, uh, a megabyte is either uh, 1024 times 1024 for the kilobytes times by the 8 for the byte and that will give us a number in the region of 8,388,000 uh, uh, so we get that rather large number or it means by thousands in which case it's a thousand times uh, a thousand kilos uh, times by 8 for our bytes and that will give us exactly 8 million so we get a difference of uh, 388,608 bits. Now that's a lot of ones and zeros. And as we get further and further up, this creates even bigger discrepancy. So the people that run the standards and, uh, uh, and set what we measure units, uh, the units we use to measure things by, said we need a solution to distinguish the two. So what they did is they took the first two letters of each of these names and said, but this is referring to binary, so kilo became um, kibi, so the kilo and binary. And the next one up would be mebi, and then the next one would be gibi, and the next one would be um, tebi. Now all these end with byte, byte, and so on, just as these should. So we use, not 1024 on there, we use our decimal uh, powers here. So this is 1000 um, bytes, this is 1000 kilobytes, this is 1000 gigabytes, this is 1000 uh, 1, 1, gigabytes, these. This is 1024 bytes, this is uh, 1024 kilobytes, this is 1024 um, megabytes, uh, so I mean mebibytes, and this is 1024 tebibytes. 
Okay, it's confusing, but it's important because of that discrepancy in the bits. Once we start multiplying 1024 by 1024 by 1024 by 1024 times 8, then we're getting into you know, millions of zeros and ones. And so the sort of conflict that that brought about meant that you could buy a hard drive and depending on who had done the calculation, if they'd done it using a thousand, you would think you had a much larger hard drive than you've actually got when compared to using 1024 as a multiplier, which, um, which would show as a smaller number. So I hope that explains it. Don't understand it? Look it up on Wikipedia. There's a really good explanation on, uh, on there. Search for the term Gibby Byte and it will explain it to you.